Hey everybody, welcome to my video on multiplying and dividing in scientific notation. So here we have 2 times 10 to the third multiplied by 4 times 10 to the 20th. And whenever you multiply, the order in which you multiply does not matter. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply the constants. We have a constant 2, and I'm going to multiply that with our other constant of 4. So we're going to multiply our constant 2 with our other constant of 4. And after we multiply our constants, we need to multiply our base tens. So we have a 10 with an exponent of 3, and we need to multiply that with our other 10 with an exponent of 20. So we have 10 to the third multiplied by 10 with an exponent of 20. And now the only thing we have to do is simplify the expression. In red, we have 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. And in blue, we have two things being multiplied with the same base. Uh, whenever this happens, you can add the exponents to simplify it. So we have a base 10, and we need to add uh, the exponent of 3 with the other exponent of 20. And we can simplify this even further. We have 8 times 10. And in our exponent, we have 3 plus 20. 3 plus 20 is equal to 23. So this is our final answer, 8 times 10 to the 23rd. So now let's go over another example that's a little bit harder. So here we have 3.5 times 10 to the negative 2 multiplied by 3 times 10 to the 5th. And our first step is the same. We need to multiply the constants. So we have a constant of 3.5 and we need to multiply that by our other constant of 3. So we have 3.5 multiplied by 3. And our next step is the same. Now we need to multiply our base tens. So we have a 10 with a exponent of negative 2, and we need to multiply that with our other 10 with a exponent of 5. So we have 10 to the negative 2 multiplied by 10 to the fifth. So now let's simplify the expression. We have in red 3.5 times 3. 3.5 times 3 is 10.5. And in blue, we have 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the fifth. Once again, we're multiplying two exponents with the same base. So we can simplify this by, by adding the exponents. We have negative 2, and we need to add that with our other exponent of 5. So if we simplify this, we have 10.5 times 10, and in the exponent we have negative 2 plus 5, which is equal to 3. So now we have a final answer of 10.5 times 10 to the third, which is not okay. Our final answer can never have a constant that is greater than 10. And notice how our constant is 10.5, which is greater than 10. So what we need to do is make this constant so it's less than 10. So we need to move the decimal point over one space so it becomes 1.05. So if we, if we change this, we have 1.05, and we just moved uh, the decimal one space, so we need to multiply it by 10 with a one exponent, since we moved it over one space. Uh, 1.05 times 10 to the one is the same thing as 10.5. And we can't forget that we still have the 10 to the third on the right side of the expression, so we need to multiply by 10 to the third. And once again, we have two exponents with the same base that are being multiplied. So we can simplify this by adding the exponents. So we have 1.05 times 10, and we need to add the exponents. We have an exponent of 1, and we need to add that with the other exponent of 3. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So this is our final answer, 1.05 times 10 to the fourth. So now let's go over another example where we divide in scientific notation. So here we have 3 times 10 to the second, and it's being divided by 6 times 10 to the fifth. And with multiplication, our first step was multiplying the constants. And with division, our first step is dividing the constants. So we have our constant of 3, and we need to divide that with our other constant of 6. So we have 3 over 6. And our next step is we need to multiply our base tens. So we have our 10 to the second, and we need to divide that with our other 10 with a 5 exponent. 
So we have 10 to the second divided by 10 to the fifth. So now let's simplify our expression. In red we have 3 over 6, which is 1 half. 1 half is equal to, to 0.5. And in blue, we have two exponents with the same base being divided with each other. Um, so whenever you're dividing, you can simplify by subtracting the exponents. So we have a 10, and we need to subtract the exponents. We have an exponent of 2, and we need to subtract that with our other exponent of 5. And simplifying this even further, we have 0.5 being multiplied by 10 with a 2 minus 5 in the exponent. 2 minus 5 is equal to negative 3. Um, so now we have a final answer uh, with our constant of equal to 0.5, which is not okay. Um, our constant has to be between 1 and 10, and 0.5 is less than 1. Um, so we need to move this decimal point. We need to move it so the constant is greater than 1. If we move it to the right, um, then uh, the constant becomes 5. And now if we rewrite this, we have 5, and we just moved our exponent one space. So we have an exponent of negative 1. And the reason why our exponent is negative is because we started with a small number of 0.5. Or you could look at it that we moved the decimal point in the opposite direction of our previous problem. So we have a negative exponent, a negative 1. And on the right hand side we still need to multiply by 10 with a negative 3 exponent. So if we simplify this we have a constant of 5 uh, being multiplied with a base of 10. Uh, notice how we have two bases of 10 being multiplied with each other. Uh, so we can add the exponents. We have an exponent of negative 1 and another exponent of negative 3. Negative 1 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 4. So this is our final answer. 5 times 10 to the negative fourth. So I hope this gave you a good idea on how to multiply and divide in scientific notation. Um, I really hope you're enjoying these videos. I will be making many more in the future, so stay tuned, and I will see you in my next one.